So today on Project Shop, we have a massive load of HID lights that I got down in Miami. Now, these lights, the guy called me literally in the middle of the day. He said they were on the ground in Miami and I needed to come pick them up. Uh, and I actually had some other things I was supposed to be doing, but I kind of pushed them off until Monday because these probably wouldn't have been there over the weekend. You know, I've had it down in Miami where I've gotten a call to come get lights. And while I was on the way, they were in the parking lot taking them. So, um, yeah, we made it a point to go get them. Now, the good thing about these lights are, um, as I was looking at them and, and loading them up, it looked like every single transformer in here was a three coil, double copper, one coil, small aluminum. So we're going to get a nice chunk of uh, number two copper out of here. And um, most of these are already opened up and uh taken apart for the most part you know so i basically got to get them off the trailer spread them out and um you know tear them down real quick and get them back on the trailer because uh monday uh it's actually sunday right now and uh monday i have to go down south pick up some transformers some wire and wait till you see what i'm going to pick up when we get back to west palm probably a good ton of bus bar that came from ironically came from the Broward County Courthouse which I've frequented many times in the past year and a half uh, apparently my customer's been doing a two-year project over there and they pulled out some massive bus bars matter of fact uh, you've seen some in a previous video that's where the bus I didn't know it came from there that's where it came from and um, you know we got to get all that done and then we got to get out here and clean all this freaking mess we got I just this is like effort scrap you know mostly steel shit my other trailers down right now so I'm just relying on this little guy and um, you know she's struggling to keep up with everything and then um, in the last video we absolutely trashed the shop it looks like an explosion went off in here there's glass uh, aluminum and uh, you know steel everywhere so what I'm gonna do is spend a couple minutes cleaning up in here so I can bring majority of them lights inside because I have been battling rain all day. This is like the third time I've tried to come out here and pull these lights off. And uh, it kept raining and then I wind up stepping out and going doing some other things. Uh, but it looks like we got a little window. I can get some of them inside and uh, we can get to removing some transformers. Okay, I got them all laid out. I got three on the table. I'll do one uh, with a head cam, show you what it's gonna take to get them apart. And uh, pretty much, these are gonna be real simple. There's a couple lenses left. I smashed a couple. Some are already broken when I picked them up. Uh, but it looks like every single one of these is a, uh, a double copper, one aluminum transformer. We're gonna make out pretty good on them. I got them laid out all the way to there. That's all the glass I broke on site so that I could stack them in there. Um, 
some of them had flat glass some of them had domes i could get two domes in a row but the rest of them had to be flat in order for me to get as many as i did on there um so we'll get these knocked out pretty quick i'm gonna actually take a break and get some dinner that uh, actually made me pretty hungry moving all this stuff around and uh i'm gonna come out here and uh knock this out get these transformers on the table and uh recover a bunch of copper i'm i'm thinking we might be able to pull 800 dollars just in copper i'm hoping so uh we're gonna find out here in a minute okay i'll give you some head cam action show you how these come apart they're pretty much uh simple i've done a ton of these exact style now someone's been here uh the other ones had phillips had screwdrivers this one had a uh, a nut driver once you open it up remove the lamp let me get a bag for these i got a whole pile of these lamps i'm gonna do a, a big recovery on all that uh brass What I like to do is dump them all up on this table and set up two, uh, three buckets over here and I can blow through them really quick. And then what you do is you take the brass and roll it back on the table. It kind of gets all the glass off of it and uh, goes pretty quick. Now, there's two different styles. One has a dome like that and the other ones have this with a flat glass. But once you get that out, they're pretty much the same thing. Well, off camera, I broke two of them down real quick just to get an idea of what it's going to take. When I pull these out and I'm doing a bunch of them, if you're not careful, these will get stuck up in the bit. There's actually some stuck up in there right now from last time. What I like to do is when I put that on there, I'm pushing pressure like I'm bending the drill and I'm putting pressure on the side of that. And as it's backing out, I'm trying to back the drill out with it. That way it stays right there at the end and it just flicks right off. Doesn't build up in there and you can just move on to the next one really fast. It's kind of like a, uh, it's a little trick. Um, once you get it down, it works really well. I'm gonna have a ton of, I have so much glass. Literally outside, I got pallets of glass from uh, so many lights. That's gonna be the smaller nut driver. Just gonna clean up some of this stuff. And I also do the same thing with this stuff. I always back it out and keep the drill going and then bend it to the side. And it basically flicks the uh, thing right off. Otherwise you'd have to sit here, you know, and sometimes like pull it out because these have magnets in them. Just a little tricks to make everything go a little quicker. Okay, now, I had trouble with the other one um, getting the thing out. I think it was this one. I had to use the pry bar because I couldn't get to the bolt underneath. See, these things are loose in here, and if they put the screw where it's on the slot, you can kind of get it out real easy like that without having to get up, because it's really hard to get up under there. See, that's already bent downward. It's really hard to get up under there. Now, another thing, all this wire and most of the time the wires going to the slip fitters are going to be number one so if you sit here and uh i just kind of fell apart wow that thing's really crusty um you can sit here and pull this out this will become easier once i once i get that out it's probably just sitting on there. um this is all number one and this is like borderline I would almost strip that. Uh, and being that number one insulated is twice as much as number two right now, I probably will 
spend a little bit of time and separate that and probably just go ahead and strip it or just set it aside and next time I'm running the stripper I'll strip it uh, but we're gonna get a nice little chunk of number two insulate out of here I got a bag right here for that and then this is the third transformer and as you can see it is a three coil two big copper coils one small aluminum coil now when i used to do transformers every day i knew right away um what these were just by looking at them i didn't have to check them and waste no time with none of that and uh i always knew i was gonna be making some decent money now on this one uh, i'm not gonna worry about the other screw because that whole plate needs to come out and uh we got now these things here have little um they actually have lock washers built onto it okay and if you're not careful they'll get wedged down in there there's actually one down in there right now and normally to get that out i have to punch through with something but we'll make sure we get all these out it's already missing some unfortunately we got to take the steel plate out Whoa. now i am going to save these washers these three quarter uh, nuts i use a ton of these all the time so i'm going to recover them because like i said in previous videos hardware is getting ridiculously expensive just like everything else in this world so we're going to try and do our best to recover as much hardware as we can from now on and uh, build up my supply. Now, I was just uh, going in here, cleaning that up a little bit, get that metal out of there, and then we're good to go. The rest of this, what we got going on? One little thing will screw you up, okay? Now, that's not too heavy. Nice piece of uh, aluminum. Nice piece of extruded right here, okay? definitely recovering that and then uh, this is a nice chunk of prepared steel I might save a couple of these just to have that big heavy round uh, I really don't need these and these are probably stainless I'll probably save like four of these just to have them I got tons of this I've already got tons of this this will go right to the prepared steel and there you go so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and uh, start either in one line or the other and just open them all up and get the lenses and the lamps out and then uh, we'll start with uh, pulling the transformer out next and uh, it's all downhill from there we're gonna have a nice little pile of aluminum sheet aluminum extruded and uh, a nice chunk of copper because it looks like I, I haven't seen one that's not a uh, three coil transformer i mean they're all one small aluminum two big coils we love those around here uh it's like a little bonus and i think i counted them i think there's 48 lights so we got 48 i'm pretty sure those transformers are probably worth about 20 bucks a piece uh if we do the math real quick uh, i don't know what that comes out to but it seems like it's going to be a nice little chunk so we're gonna crank up some music and uh, get right on this.
Okay, I don't know when the uh, time-lapse GoPro died, but apparently it did. But I got all the plates loose. All Everything is loose, uh, pretty much in the box. And uh, that was kind of tedious, man. I'm not gonna lie. There was like uh, six, seven, eight, probably 10 little screws just to get that plate and the transformer off. And um, now I gotta go back and um, cut some wire. But I think what I'm gonna do is just uh, take these boxes and flip them and dump everything out on the floor and get the boxes up out of here uh, just so I got some room to work and then um, I think the next step I'm going to come slide back through cut all the wires and whatnot I'm still on the fence of if I'm uh, I'm probably going to separate them wires it's not even a lot but I hate putting number one and the number two because of the price difference and I'll probably strip it it is it is uh right at that point of um, whether I would strip it or not. So I'm gonna take a break real quick, sitting on that little stool. Uh, even though that's better than bending over, it's still kinda crunched down, you know, bending down, working off the ground. So I'm gonna stretch a little bit, maybe get something to eat, take, take a 10 minute break, and uh, we'll get right back on it. I'm uh, really excited to crack these transformers because I think I only found one that wasn't a triple and it's still probably got at least one coil of copper in there the rest of these were all triple coils and uh, i'm really excited about that what i'm going to probably do is weigh one box weigh one uh extruded one thing i i know the counts on them well actually i'm not going to weigh the steel because uh, i think these were all double heads so we're just going to see what we're going to get out of the non-fares. The steel will be like a bonus for us, you know? So I'm going to go take a break and we'll get right back out of it. Okay, well, the time lapse, um, I wind up actually just taking a picture instead of um, uh, shooting a, the video. But I got everything cleaned up, loaded on the trailer. The trailer's loaded, strapped down, ready to rock and roll. And then I came back uh, because I wind up going to my office and eating something. And then I literally passed out in my office chair. Uh, I woke up like 20 minutes ago in like a panic, uh, figuring I was late to something, but you know, I work for myself, so it really doesn't matter. But I do have a lot I'm supposed to go do today. So I just cut the transformers in place, put them on that cart, pushed them over here, loaded them on the table. I'm gonna blow through these real quick and get the copper and uh, throw it in the back of the truck. I'm gonna go home, shower, change my clothes, come back and get my trailer, and then we're heading to Miami. I'm hoping to get out of here uh, before six o'clock. It is like four o'clock in the morning right now. Yeah, I can't believe I fell asleep like that. Thank God I pulled the door down, but I did have this back door open like this the whole, whole night, which isn't good. I have a bunch of this stock. When I'm done welding those cages for them, I'm gonna make a cage that those fans can bolt to and I could just have that there and not worry about that no more okay all right we got power let me put on my thing it might be a little loud in here with all the fans but it's kind of hot and I need to have uh, airflow to blow this dust away we'll give you some head cam action now this is what this machine is is set up for man these uh these thousand watt transformers this machine loves them. Well, I don't know about the machine loving them. I love them. This is where this machine really shines. And if you can do that three a minute, uh, you can make some serious money. This machine does operate with these thousand watt transformers. It ain't gonna take me long to do this. I think there's 48 of them. I'm gonna blow through these really fast. I mean, you can make hundreds of dollars an hour cracking them with, with this setup here. All right, let's rock and roll. Oh, I need my hammer. Gotta have my hammer. Oh, there it is. So let me show you real quick. Back in the day, I used to unscrew or use a grinder or a sawzall to cut these off. And then I found out you could just shear, you could just shear it off. No need to waste blades, waste time doing all that, you know? I wasted so much money 
on blades the first year I was doing these transformers. Now some of them uh, get a little get a little messed up, but for the most part, like that one's lower. So that one I would either try to just shear the backside like that. You got to be real precise. Yeah, that one too. And then sometimes you could just hit it and open up that uh, thing right there. All right, you get the point. Okay, let's uh, let's knock some of these out. half copper Woo, this thing's a loud Bank keeps turning away. Things all out of balance. I gotta put some. I gotta run these muffs, man. This thing is literally like uh, a gun going off in front of you when these welds break. I doubt the uh, video is doing justice to how loud this is. Uh, I had a uh, little foam foam earplugs. They just weren't doing it, man. Felt like I didn't have nothing in.
Back in the day when, uh, you know, before LEDs, I had like five good years before LEDs were even a thing. And I'd say a good 75% of the transformers that I got were 1,000 watt transformers and 90% of them were double coppers in the beginning. Business was good. I didn't even buy copper wire. Matter of fact, that was one of the ways I was able to get customers. I never once asked them for copper or wire. I was looking for transformers, which at the time, nobody was really buying. Most of the people I talked to told me that they were throwing these away for 20 years. Which made me sad because you know, I was like 20 years late to the party. But I had a good run. I still get them. There'll still be some. Just not not like uh, not like uh, five, ten years ago, man. All right, I gotta do something with this thing. There we go. Okay. I gotta get that dust blown away from me. I don't know if you can tell, but when this thing breaks, see all this little stuff? It blows up in the air. That's why I wear a respirator, because I'm pretty sure there's some type of fiberglass or some type of slack. You don't want to be breathing, especially if you're doing this every day. Definitely want to be wearing steel toe boots messing with these things. Thank you. 
I was 48 transformers and whatever time that was. Now let's uh, see what we got here. Some of these might just knock out. Just falling out. Oh, it's a tough one. All right. got heavy real quick. I can 
tell that's going to be a tough one. Well, that was about the easiest bunch of transformers I ever did. They pretty much just fell apart. So I don't know how long of a time that was, but that's pretty much what this shit is capable of. The hardest part is cracking them. Punching them out's easy. You can either hammer them or the hydraulic press. That'll run seven a minute all day long. All right, I'm gonna go get cleaned up and uh, shut this place down. I'm gonna go take a shower and change and then um, I'm gonna load this uh, or hook that trailer on and we're gonna get out of here. Okay, I'm back at it. Uh, I got all that, uh, oh, I'm actually in the process of offloading that, um, the transformers I picked up today. 
and the copper wire. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on that first. I actually uh, went home and crashed for a couple hours because uh, last night I, probably somewhere around 12 or one, I don't even know when, I sat in my office to eat something and I literally passed out of my office chair and then woke up at like three or four in the morning with a kinked neck and then got right back on the transformers Went home for a split second, showered, changed, got on the road, went to Miami, on the way back, picked up that, got back to West Palm, picked up over 3,000 pounds of bus bar, uh, came back here, dropped that trailer off, went back over to that guy, who's actually right around the corner, picked up his trailer with all of this stuff on it. I'm hoping I got some help coming here uh, in a little bit, otherwise I'm just gonna be uh, working all night by myself again. Uh, I got to get this guy's trailer back to him tomorrow. And I need to recover my money out of the, um, that bus bar. Because that, that was over $8,000 for that stuff. Now, I had to pay a premium for that because he was giving me this for free. But I still am hopefully going to make about 450 bucks just for loading it and taking it to Miami with the rest of my stuff. So, I can't complain about that. This is all gonna be a bonus, uh, but like I said, I gotta get his trailer back to him. Uh, I'm currently getting transformers on the table. The shop is an absolute wreck from last night, um, but hopefully uh, help shows up and uh, we can knock out these transformers. Yesterday, we were blowing through some transformers over here. Uh, it looks like an explosion of steel. When I crack transformers, I'm moving so fast, like, if, if you don't have a mess like this when you're done cracking transformers, you're not moving fast enough. <laughs> or at least I'm not moving fast enough. Uh, you know, the mess is an afterthought. My main thing is to get them moved. You know, I, I think I broke those down in like 25 minutes or something like that. Um, which was, I was actually surprised the GoPro stayed on the whole time. So I got this uh, cart, which is uh, pretty cool because I can push it right to the back of the trailer and uh, dump the whole drum off. I got four drums about this full. And um, most of them are these little ones, but I don't think I came across any double coppers or uh, I'm sorry, double aluminums. So we should get a nice chunk of copper out of this. We might be able to get to this, um, but I'm gonna focus more on that wire. And I, I brought another drum over to start chucking these ballast in there. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna get at it, man. Uh, I'm probably gonna pull an all-nighter, unfortunately, uh, because I gotta get that guy's trailer back to him. I think he said he needed it for something tomorrow. Uh, he asked if I could get it back to him today but it was just, I was so exhausted, you know, I, I, I was honest with him. I was like, dude, I need to go sleep. <laughs> so I think I got like three hours of sleep in me last night and uh, three hours of sleep in me uh, this afternoon. So uh, we should be good for another 12 hours. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna uh, put the time lapse on, get those transformers up on the table. And uh, hopefully, uh, I think Steve said he's gonna come over here and help me. I'd love to knock out these transformers and, and I'm probably just gonna dump that trailer right here. It is a dump trailer. And uh, hopefully open all that up and recover that because that's a bonus. I wanna get that out of here. I'm hoping for a... Um, I'm hoping for about $5,000 for the past uh, two days or yeah whenever i started them white lights that was yesterday when did i pick them up i don't even remember man all the days are merging today's monday i i broke those lights down sunday evening yeah that that's what it was yeah we got to get this stuff out of here that way i can focus on cleaning out the shop and get back on my welding job. I'm surprised the guy hasn't called me. It's been like, I don't know, two weeks or so, uh, maybe even more uh, since I was able to do anything. I actually did another welding job for him uh, in the midst of this. 
but I do need to get back on that. He's not in a big rush for any of this, but um, you know, I don't. I got to get that done and out of my shop, so I can move on with life, and uh, maybe get to the uh, stator wrecker. Hopefully, I mean, we just got too much going on, and uh, I'm only one person. But hey, we're just gonna keep moving. Today, I am uh, drinking Red Bull. Unfortunately, I'm exhausted. And we're listening to some classic rock from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Yeah, we're just gonna rock out and uh, scrap out. <laughs> Okay, this is where we're at. We got uh, about almost two thirds of a drum here yet to go. We got all these on the table, nice little chunk. A lot of them are uh, double copper. And uh, we did run some through the first press already and we have a nice stack over here. And then uh, that'll be it for the transformers. Now it's getting late, kind of getting hungry. I'm gonna take a break. I got some uh, nice Pollo Tropical and some watermelon I'm gonna be chowing down on here in a second. Um, I don't know how much more I wanna work. I'm definitely going to get that copper off of that trailer and get it in the building. And I'm gonna have to offload this trailer because I need to get it back to him in the morning. Uh, but as for processing all that stuff, I don't see that happening tonight. Uh, my back's already telling me hey, dude, you need to slow down. So we're going to uh, take a break here Hopefully I don't fall asleep. I'll set myself an alarm if I do We're gonna eat something and then we're gonna at least knock out them transformers and get this uh, Copper in the building and uh, Probably put this on pallets. I got a bunch of pallets here and uh, We'll worry about that stuff another day Because uh, I got to get down to Miami in the morning and uh, I don't like driving long distances while I'm extremely tired. It's not the safest thing to do. So we're gonna do all that, get everything done. Then we're probably gonna sleep for a day. Then we're gonna come back in here and deal with this absolute nightmare of a mess. Uh, we're just gonna keep on scrapping. Hopefully uh, the phone don't ring. Now, uh, what most people probably don't realize is I don't call or solicit or even try to go find scrap. My phone rings and I just go pick it up. And um, half the time I wish the phone didn't ring. <laughs> okay, this stuff is super heavy. And uh, I'm tired of messing with it. I got me a button. And we're gonna dump it. I'm just gonna slide over a little bit.
I'll tell you where we're going, right to the scrap yard. Okay, testing the world's sketchiest uh, 220 motor. Oh, I'm using the breaker as a switch. Hey man, why are you backing up so far? <laughs> Whoa! Woo! That thing started with some authority, man. You hear that bearing? Look at this, it's, it's greasable. Yeah. But it's winding down nice and easy, so it's not totally cooked. Okay. Man, y'all don't even want to know what we had to do to get that 220 plug in there. Let me show you. <laughs> not only did we have to twist it, but we had to collapse that down and shave that one down. So, um, yeah, we are not electricians. <laughs> okay another bonus i got this motor from a uh, scrapper around the corner it's a brake motor apparently it's got a braking system on the back here i'm not too sure like what this does or if it does anything i don't know but um it really has some weird information on here. The only thing I can discern is it's got 940 RPMs, which is really slow. And it is um, maybe single phase, 1.5 kW and TB, I think it's 50 Newton meters of torque. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Apparently, it's a low RPM, high torque. Apparently, it's brand new. But we're going to open this up and see what's in there. There's some wires going over to here. I guess to activate the brake. 